hi guys welcome back to my channel okay so today i'm going to show you how to make another flip book and this one comes in a little envelope so um, i'm using my new digital kit which is the old time rose collection um, and i've actually popped a, a, the closure is just a piece of this of sari silk on there um, so this is one of the papers in the kit and it's like this so um, i've already done this and i've backed it with a little bit of paper on there um, just to make it a little bit thicker so this is what it comes out what, like when it's folded. I've added a little bit of um, ribbon uh, lace there with one of the corners, um, the little fussy cut corners um, and a little bit of cheesecloth. Um, and then on the back, I've added one of the fussy cuts. I think this fussy cut here is one that I did in the very beginning. Um, so it's a little bit bigger than you're gonna get um, because I wanted it to fit on the page and this was a little bit too big so it's just slightly smaller not too much smaller and then I've got some cheesecloth underneath um, and then inside pop that to the side this is our little flip book so again I've popped a little bit of sari silk on there and I've held it down with um, one of the little embellishments in the pack too um, and I've just cut that so it's a little bit wibbly wobbly so it's just a little bit different so this opens up like this so we've got one of the little pockets here um, with a little tag in there and I've backed the tag with some card and a little bit of sari silk on there and then on these two I've got the little corner pocket with a little bit of um, lace on there and then again we've got two of the lovely tags from the kit and I've just backed it onto some card if you print it on thicker card then you don't need to back it um, and then I've just added some sari silk and then we've got a nice little uh, bit of journaling space here so that's really nice and I've just popped a little flower on there with some um, cheesecloth underneath so I thought that was a really really nice one and it's a quite nice use for the envelopes because um, we do make I've made these envelopes before um, and a lot of people have asked me what I put in them so I thought I'd make a little flip book to go inside one of the envelopes there we go guys so I'm going to start off with the um, envelope so I have done this before um, I will put a link to the other videos that I've done which are the ones where I've used some tissue paper and uh, not tissue paper napkin on there as well so what I've done I've got a piece of um, a paper out of the kit and what I've done I've already backed it with some paper so this is just off an old Portuguese book that I had um, and what I've done, I've just folded it up like that from the bottom and then down, just like you would fold an envelope. Okay, so let's just pop this to the side because that's for our um, little flip book. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a bit of decorating on here. So I'm going to get my cheesecloth. I'm not quite organised this morning actually. So let's pop that to the side. So what shall we have on the front on here? I've already got some fussy cut bits here that's a tiny one so maybe I'll just pop a little tiny one on there today I'm going to do it like that so it doesn't keep flipping up so let's use a bit of cheesecloth I still haven't made any more of this tea dyed cheesecloth which I need to because the sun is out here today so maybe that's what I will do later so I'm just going to pop a little bit on there like that little bit of glue stick just to stick this one down like this so we've all made I'm sure a lot of you have made these envelopes before so they're quite quick and easy to do um, and I absolutely love them now you've got something to put in them so let's have I think this is my runny one I don't want that one I watered it down too much and it's gone a bit too runny now I'm going to just use this one. Bit of three and one on there. It just sticks down nicely. So that's a nice little um, bit of detail on the back of your envelope on the little flap. That looks quite nice, doesn't it? Very easy. So, and then on this side, I just did a little bit of decorating as well. So I'm going to pop that back in the pot. So again, where's my cheesecloth? So on this one, look, I've just put the little bow, 
little corner and the bit of cheesecloth on there. So I've got the little corner piece here. These are coming really handy. I really like those. Pop a little bit of cheesecloth down. There's a huge amount. It's just quite nice to have something underneath it. A bit of glue. Like that. And then I shall stick this down. So you can embellish them how you want to. Um, sort of like you don't have to put cheesecloth, you can put a bit of ribbon or a bit of fabric underneath. So that just sits on there. So it just sort of like finishes off that edge quite nicely, doesn't it? Pop that there. And then I've got a little bit of ribbon. You could actually pop this, not ribbon, lace, on the edge there as well would look quite pretty, wouldn't it? Let's just make a little bow just to go on here. So you can use your little off cuts as well if you've or if you've got ready-made bows, you can use those. Let's pop that down. Make a nice pretty little bow. Cut the ends off. And you can just stick that on here like that. Oh, it's a bit oozy this one. I've got one that's really runny and one that's really thick. So maybe I should sort of try and mix them together a bit. But I'm trying to get some more but they're out of stock so I'm not very happy about that. <laughs> So there we go, that's the front, so I think that looks really nice. And all I've got to do then is just sew up the sides. I normally sew along this bit, stitch along there, and then I stitch along this bit here, and then I stitch this up here, like that. So I shall do that a little bit later. So that's that done. You don't need to see me stitching it. Right, so let's get on with the little flip book. So let's pop that to the side. So the first thing we do, I've, what I've done here, let's pop that over there. I printed again, I printed on both sides. So there's a pattern page on both sides. So then we need to just cut it in half this way. Okay, so you just slice down the middle because we want two separate sections. I have marked it off here so the, I know where the middle is. So it's quicker for me to cut. So here we go, so you want it right down the middle, like that, so hopefully that is level. So we've cut it down like, oops, take my scissors away. We've cut it like that and what we need to do is put them together like this. So I want to just, so it's a long piece, so you can have whichever side you want to, but I'm going to just stick that on there with my, um, tacky glue okay so we just need a little line down here of glue so we can stick it together so that just sits on there just gently just a tiny bit like that so Stick that there. Okay, perfect. Didn't quite cut that straight, but never mind. Right, so that's done. So let me show you on here. What I've done on this one here, I've actually covered this seam up with some um, sari silk where we sew it in, where we sew the um, signature in. So it doesn't matter that we've just glued that together because it won't come apart because we've sewn it in. Right, so then what we need to do, I didn't measure it, so let's measure this so we know. Where's my ruler? Right, so I have made a fold here which is three and three quarters. So your first one will be there. So let me mark that off. So we need to do three and three quarters there and then from there we have got 
let's make sure this is level. You've got four and a quarter there. And then the little end bit here, let's measure from there to there. We have got four and a half. Okay, so this bit here, let me say that again. So the first bit is three and three quarters on this first section. And then we've got four and a quarter between this one and this one. And then we've got four and a half between here and here. And it doesn't matter about this one because we're going to cut a little wiggly bit off. Okay, I should have measured that before, but never mind. Right, I'm going to fold it this way so I can see the little line there. So that's the first one. And then the second one is just there. Oops, it's not very level, is it? And then the last one is here. Okay, but this is the outside. I've done it now. I'm going to fold it back this way so that flower these the little roses can be on the outside. goes in that folds over and then that folds over there so what I'm going to do what I've done I've just cut a wiggly bit across there you don't have to you can leave it straight if you want to but I thought something different I'm just gonna cut just a little bit of a wiggly line like that and then what I'm going to do I'm just going to ink this up quickly so I shall Fast forward this a little bit. Okay, so there we go. That's all inked up around the edges. So I'll pop that to the side. Pop a lid on my glue so it doesn't dry up. Okay, so there we go. So that folds in perfect. So now we're going to do add some pockets. So here we go. I've got all my little selection. I've actually made the tags already. So I've just cut the, I backed the tags onto the card and then cut them out. And I did so around the edges. All right. So I've got three of those, which I've done. Oopsie daisy. So we've got three lovely rose ones. And then I'm going to use, I've got a couple pockets. I don't need all of those pockets. So I'm going to pop the rose one on there. And then we've got the little corner rose one. So it can either go either side. It doesn't really matter. I think I might put it this side. So it's a little bit different from the other one. So these little pockets, they're the same. So you just cut them out like that. And then you just fold it in the edges. And I did ink up around this bit as well. So I'm going to use my little tacky glue pot. And we shall glue these on like this. A little bit of glue. Okay, I don't need a lot of this glue because it's really good. I really do like using it. I'm just going to stick that down there. There we go. Hopefully that's level. Now if you want to do, you could um, sew around it if you wanted to. Make sure that's not stuck in there. That's perfect. So if you wanted to sew this down, or if you didn't want to print um, on both sides, um, you can cover it with something else. So this is just the basic template that I'm sort of showing you. So you can do it however you like. So then again, these are the little corner pockets with the little tabs. So you just fold in the tabs. And then you glue that down. There we go. 
so. Perfect. And this one can just sit there on the side. Squatch that down. We are so you can decorate these. Did I decorate the ones in here? Let me have a look. I can't remember. Yes, I put a popped a little bit of lace down there, and then I popped a little bit of sari silk and um, cheesecloth and one of the little roses on there. And then on the book, look, I've just popped a little rose as well. Okay, so that's on there nicely. So that can pop in there. And then we've got two lovely little tags will fit in there nicely. So we need to pop some ribbon on there, don't we, as well. So let's pop those to the side because we need to add a little bit of um, sari silk to here. So I've got some cut here. Now this sari silk seems to um, shred quite a lot. I'm just going to cut a little bit off here. I've actually just stuck it down because it's so light. I've just stuck it down with um, some glue stick. But I will sew it down either side. So this sticks in like that. So that just sticks over the join where we joined the book like that. You need it where the bend is and that's not where the bend is it needs to move over just a little bit I think that's about right so you want it sort of in the middle of that bend so it just reinforces it so it doesn't rip just chop that off and then I want to do the other side <coughs> as well let's just down the middle and then we just pop that through perfect there we go trim up the end and then that's our little reinforce the little bit where we're going to sew the book in Okay, so that's lovely. So that folds over like that. See, very quick. Right, I've also cut out some of my little circles as well. Um, and I've just backed those onto some cardboard. So you can use that as a tag. That one I'm going to use on the front here, I think. So I'm going to pop this one on here. Like that. Um, so I'm going to pop some sari silk around there. But what I want to do first... It's just sew in the little book. I'm not going to sew it in with a, like a signature. I'm going to sew it in. I've already made this. So it's just some... I think I've got two sheets. Um, let's have a look. I think it's two sheets of tea, tea stain paper. Two, four, six, eight. Yes, two sheets. And then I've just torn them in half. And popped them in there. I did actually cut it down slightly. Because it was a little bit too big. So once you fold them, just cut them down. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to sew them in with my sewing machine just down through there. But if you wanted to sew them in um, with your pamphlet stitch, you can do that. Um, but I'm going to just sew that in, which I've done on this one. So it's just sewing in down through the spine there. And what I've also done, I've sewn in the um, sari silk. So I've First of all, I sewed down either side here to keep that in place. And then I sewed that through here. So that's what I'm going to do. And I will be back in two seconds. Right, so that's all been sewn in. So I've just gone down either side of the sari silk um, to reinforce the, the fold on there. And then I've just sewn down through there with a long stitch um, on my sewing machine. Let's just trim this up a little bit. So that sits in there nicely. Perfect. There we go. So 
So what I did, I'm going to show you the very first one I did, if I can find it, if it's on here. Here we go. This is one that I did with the, the trials of my first butterfly kit. So I just used the odd bits of paper. So this one is a little bit different. They actually put a, corner, a pocket there and I put a, like a belly band and this was just used some scrap bits of paper. So you could always do that as well if you didn't want to sew in that. You could put um, your scrap bits of paper in a little belly band. Um, so there's all sorts of different ways you can do it. Um, and I put two little pockets there, um, like that. So I put a, not quite that way, but you could put a couple of little um, tags in there. You could put the little round ones in there, and um, which would look quite nice. So there's lots of different ways you can make the pockets in them. Um, so you don't have to have them this way. So you can just mix and match them. But um, this is the way I'm doing it today. So that's that done so that looks really nice so what i'm going to do i'm going to pop these in here i do do i will need to put some little um, holes in there and some little bit of sari silk or something through there or a bit of ribbon so that's that done i'm going to pop something on here what shall we have shall i have a little flower on there little rose or shall i have one of these on there Maybe I'll pop that, or oh, I could even put, let's have a look, I don't think I've got one ready cut out, never mind, I will pop the little rows on there then I think, let's get some more of our um, cheesecloth, cut that off, a little bit there, stick that on. Just so that front page doesn't look so bare when you open it up. Bit of glue. It's going so gloopy. Pop that like that on there. Squash that down. And then what I need to do is pop that like that and then we can close that up. And then I'm going to pop one of the little corners on here, like that. I think that looks really nice. So I shall pop. Let me have a look. I'm going to use this glue because I'm not going to put any um, cheesecloth down. I'm just going to pop this on the back. Wiggle it all around. And then pop that down there. Perfect. So then we need to make the closure for it. So we've got some sari silk here. Let's measure this. So just use ribbon, just use whatever you have. Um, you don't have to use sari silk if you don't have it. So that goes it's perfect doesn't it so let's just cut those at a little bit of an angle like that and then to keep it in place I'm going to put this little round one on there I'm just going to glue that onto there so that just holds that in place and the best thing to use is this isn't it I'm just going to stick that down so it doesn't move and we can just pop this around here so it's awfully gloopy mm, I'm going to use some of this I think Oops. on there hold it down for a minute make sure it sticks and there we go perfect so that looks lovely doesn't it and there we go we've got another one of our little um, flip out books I think this was number five 
for number five? I think so. So that sticks on there. So what I do need to do is just quickly sew this up. So I'm going to quickly sew this up so we're ready. Two seconds. Right, that's the um, envelope sewing up. So that's all done nicely. Um, so that just fits inside here like so. Pops in there like that. That goes round. I've got some sari silk here, which I'm going to use as the closure. Like that. Just go round a couple of times. You don't have to use sari silk, but you can use whatever you like as the closure. So I'm just going to tie that up like that. Like so. And then what I've got here what I did earlier, oopsie daisy, I actually popped a little hole in this one and added a little clip to it and then what we can do, we can just clip that on there. So we've got a little dingly dangly hanging down off there as well, which I th think looks really nice. You could always write who it's to on the back of that as well, if it's a gift. So there we go guys, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, so that's our flip book number five all done so i hope you give it a go please pop over to my etsy shop um, and if you're not a subscriber to my channel please um, subscribe um, and i will see you in my next videos all right guys thank you for joining me take care have a lovely day and i'll see you soon bye bye